Hello guys, um, you are welcome again. So in this lesson, we want to look at what um, bijective functions are, okay? So it's, it's very simple. A function is bijective if it is both a function f s bijective if it is both one to one, both one to one and one to. Or if you like, if it is injective and subjective. All right. Remember to be one to one. Then we expect that um, f of x1 is equal to f of x2 implies that x1 has to be equal to x2, right? So you prove this, then it is one to one. For it to be subjective or onto, right, you have to show that for every element in the um, co-domain, right? Well, you can see that um, the range, range must be equal to the whole domain. Okay? Solve for the expression for the domain and show that for every y, you can find the corresponding x if you can show that it is one to. So, if you can prove both that it's one to one, at the same time, it is also on to or subjective, then you can conclude that the function is bijective. Okay? So, let's use uh, these two examples to illustrate that. We want to determine whether these functions are bijective. Okay? So let's let's do the first one. Uh, we know how to prove one to one subjectivity. Okay? So 1 f of x is 3 minus 2x. Okay? So you let x1 and x2 be real, then f of x1 is equal to f of x2. This implies that put x1 here, 3 x1 is equal to 3 minus 2 x2. Right? They're both positive, they cancel out. So negative 2 x1 is negative 2 x2. Negative 2s cancel out. So this implies that x1 is equal to x2, okay, hence f is what? It's injective, it's one to one, okay, it is injective, good, then it's left with, uh, um, we have to show that it is also on to, or if it is not, then we conclude that it's not bijective, so let's, so for the second part, now, well, let me just do it, let's, y be equal to 3 minus 2x. Remember to show that it's on 2, we have to solve for x. So I'm going to have 2x equal to 3 minus y. I divide through, hmm, divide through by 2. And so I have x is 3 minus y over 2. All right, y is real. So notice that for every y, for every y, I can get an x. Okay. Therefore, for every every y real, we have we have x. We have well, we have x. Hence, f is subject. Okay. So the function is both injective and subjective. And so you conclude that F, I'm going to get rid of this. So, so down there, the right hands, or therefore hands, F is by injective. We're done. So you show that it's one to one, show that it's on to, and then you can conclude that it is bijective. If you, if if it's um, violated any of them, 
Well, if it is neither one to one nor subjective, right? It could be on to, but not one to one, right? Or one to one and not on to. In either case, it's not subjective. It has to be both. All right. Okay. Good. So let's let's um, let's look at a final one. This guy. Okay. If you like, you can pause the video and try it, right? Try it. So if I have x minus 1, all over x minus 1. Okay? So again, let x1 and x2 be real numbers, and let f of x1 be equal to f of x2. We're doing 1 to 1 first. We want to see if it's 1 to 1. So from here, put x1 in there. So I have x1 minus 1 x1 plus 1, put x2, I have x2 minus 1, I have x2 plus 1, right? Good. Um, what is all this? You can cross multiply, right? So you can rewrite this as x1 minus 1 multiplied by x2 plus 1. This is x1 plus 1. And then I have, so I'm doing this, x2 minus 1, all right? So let's expand it. I'm going to get x1, x2, okay? And I have plus x1 minus x2 minus 1 is equal to I have x1, x2 minus x1, I have plus x2 minus 1, right? So notice that x1, x1 will cancel out. They are both positive on that side, okay? And so I'm left with well um, negative negative one and negative one will also go right. So I'm left with x one here minus x two is equal to I have minus x one and I have plus x two. All right. I can bring this negative x one here. It will add up to this guy. That will give me two x one. The negative x2 goes to add up to this, that gives me 2x2. So I get 2x1 is equal to 2x2. The 2's cancel out. And so we get x1 is equal to x2. So we have shown that if f of x1 is equal to f of x2, x1 is equal to x2. Therefore, f is 1 to 1 or injective. Okay, it's injected. Good. Uh, we are not done yet. We have to determine whether it is um, onto or subjective. If it is, then we can conclude that it is um, bijective. So let's try to do that. Can you get rid of this? Okay. So we have this. So now, um, so you saw the as if you are finding the range, right? So you let y be equal to f of x. And then solve for x in terms of y. Cross multiply. That will give us yx plus y is equal to x minus 1, right? I'm going to bring x and I'll take y there. So I'm going to have yx minus x is equal to negative 1 minus y. Pull out x. Remember we are solving for x. So x into brackets y minus 1 is equal to negative 1 into y. I'm going to get rid of these guys here. Okay. And then we have x will be equal to minus 1 minus y. <coughs> all over y minus 1. Okay? Good. Now, check. Notice that um, notice that I'm just, I'm just looking at something. That's correct. Notice that if so again, to determine whether it's injective, it's onto you, you ask the question for every y, what are the x here. Well, when y is equal to 1, 
this will not be defined. So when y is 1, we can't get an x. All right? Because of that, because of that, the function is not onto, it's not subjective. Okay? So for y equals 1, let me write it like this. Negative 1 minus y all over y minus 1 is not defined. All right? Defined. So we can't, we cannot get x. So, hence, or therefore, we conclude that f is not, is not rejected. It is one to one, we prove that, but it is not subjective, therefore it is not bijective. Okay? Good. So that brings us to the end of uh, bijective functions. All right? Next, we'll look at um, the inverse of the function and the composition of functions briefly. All right? So I'll be back. Thank you. <coughs>